So guys, just a quick update. Bitcoin has receded back to 27,000. And this is because of what the Fed said. I know we were all expecting an interest rate hike stop, but the Fed's mester said that he does not see a compelling reason to stop the interest rate hikes. And the truth is, long term, this is actually a good thing. The main reasons we've been seeing these market crashes has been the inflation. And it's not just been the inflation itself that has caused cost of goods and services to increase in price, cost of commodities to increase in prices, which has caused business expenses to rise and profits to fall. It's all been a domino effect, but it's not just that. It's been the Federal Reserve's response in tackling the inflation. So interest rate hikes basically mean cost of borrowing goes up. And when cost of borrowing goes up, that means that it's expensive to take out loans to buy things. Say you want to buy a house, mortgage rates are higher. So many young people are holding off buying. So there's a lot more selling pressure on Bitcoin. May hasn't been great. In fact, since the start of May, around the start, we were at almost $30,000 Bitcoin, and now we're sitting at $27,000. And again, the rally was also driven by people's expectations that nearing summer, the Federal Reserve would stop or pause interest rate hikes or make them less aggressive. But it's clear now that they're not going to do that. But here's what I think. I think that this is a good thing in the long term. We need to hang in there because these interest rates will eventually propagate into the economy. By propagate, I mean it will feed into all the little bits and bobs in the economy, the nooks and crannies from the businesses getting cheaper commodity prices, so therefore their cost of production is lower, and all these things will impact their profits. This will also mean that they can pay higher salaries and that will feed into the consumer market. So basically, there is a bit of a time lag as to when you have interest rate hikes and how it impacts the economy. Now, initially, it will impact the economy negatively because people are worried, they aren't taking out loans, the economy is not stimulated. But the minute these effects propagate in and inflation gets under control, that's when we'll see Bitcoin rally. That's when the Federal Reserve will stop their interest rate hike. So we need to wait for that. Right now is the time to just hold on to your cryptos, hold on to your stocks, because we will ride this out. The worst thing you can do is sell at a loss now. But if you did make some short-term trades, so there has been selling pressure on Bitcoin, for example, those that sold at around 29,000 because they were expecting a bit of a slump, which usually happens when we see a rally in Bitcoin, will actually make profits. So actually right now, I would wait till Bitcoin reaches potentially around 26,100, 200, $300. That's what I personally believe, again, not financial advice, is a good buying opportunity because then once the economy starts fixing itself, once inflation is under control, once China's data improves because China also did not report great manufacturing stats, once we see some improvements, the price of Bitcoin will rally. And I think right now is a low point. I do think it will fall a little bit more. People who are holding Bitcoin for the long term aren't really worried about a two or $3,000 drop. People who are wanting to get in or wanting to make a short-term trade, then this is a good entry point. I do think the prices will go as low as 26,000 for the next few months, provided nothing catastrophic happens. If something catastrophic does happen, then we will fall further down into maybe 24K territory. But for now, I think around $26,000 is a good buying point. And if you're holding for the long term, you should be pretty much used to these fluctuations. Anyway, I wanted to do a very quick video on interest rates and what's been happening. And I wanted to show you guys my personal opinions on good entry points. But remember guys, this is not financial advice. It's just simply my opinions. The markets are volatile. And right now I'd say you have to very closely track the global economy, not just the improvements in the crypto industry themselves. But to be honest, this is the only doom and gloom news. The crypto markets and the NFT markets, the entire Web3 space has become more and more resilient and is less affected by macroeconomic pressures than it was back in the day. What's happened is that the industry is maturing by itself almost autonomously. So the effects from these macroeconomic pressures aren't as substantial as we saw when we saw actual issues within the crypto market. For example, the Terra Luna fiasco was disastrous and that caused the entire crypto market to be crashing down. I suggest you carefully monitor the health of the crypto markets. How is the industry evolving? How are regulations being placed? How are they being placed in favor of crypto? And what are blockchain technology companies doing? 
And when you do that, you realize that you're not investing in crypto for the fluctuations that we see because of temporary macroeconomic policies or other things that happen globally that aren't really to do with the long-term potential of a blockchain project. But for short-term traders, macroeconomic changes are very, very important, especially if you are trading and you're using leverage, then it's really important because some of these changes could wipe out your position, so just be careful. So guys, I hope you did enjoy this video and hit that like button and that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you get informed on when I release a video as a lot of the information, as you know, is time sensitive. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.